Purple Bricks responds to accusations. How many houses are they selling? What is the online hybrid estate agent hiding? I'm your host, Matthew Moody, and today, get ready, because we are going down, down, down the rabbit hole. Play ball. Thank you, sir. Hi, and a warm welcome back to Property TV. Now, do check out our channel and make sure that you do this very important exercise. Subscribe now. That is an order. You cannot go any further without subscribing. Click the button now. That's it, I'll wait a moment. You done it? Good, now we can carry on. So a couple of weeks back, we mentioned this. Well, they claim lots of competition is out there, but since when hasn't competition been out there? So they're saying that internet startups are affecting them badly. So Purple Bricks apparently is thrashing them. Uh, Purple Bricks are doing so well right now, they're actually expanding in New York. Later, this came out. Purple Bricks does not disclose how many houses it sells. Shocker! So if you're not familiar with Purple Bricks, where the hell have you been? Because they're everywhere. I see them on the TV, I hear them on the radio, I even see them in the papers if you're lucky enough to still have one of those. Purple Bricks! They're the highest grossing online estate agent. Look, I said that really quickly, but they own 60% of the online property sales market. Now, how do they work? It's very simple. Grab a cup of coffee or tea and I'll show you how. In fact, caffeine free is the best, but hey, who knows, who cares? Most estate agents charge a percentage of the sales price, one and a half to two and a half percent, or even more in London. Purple Bricks got rid of all of that by charging a upfront payment of between 849 to 1200 pounds in London and the surrounding areas. Now for that, you get quite a lot of things. So you get a local property expert that helps you sell the property. You get a floor plan, which is nice because a lot of estate agents don't even give you that, even though they're trying to sell your property. You get a professional photographer, which is also great because let's be frank, there are some pretty bad photographs out there of houses being sold, right? You also get a support sales team to help sell the property, which is after all the point of selling your property and post sale support team. Now, Piper Bricks claim that you will say £3,351 versus a standard agent such as our friends. Shocker! They charge 1.5% of the sales price, so you're potentially saving quite a lot of money for using them. However, all is not as rosy as it seems. Some of the issues that commentators have had around Purple Bricks is the fact that they do not disclose their sales numbers. So it's very difficult to know how many instructed properties actually end up being sold. And they have their fair share of critical commentators. Pepper Bricks does not disclose how many homes it sells. Hence, let's talk about Anthony Codley at city investment firm Jeffrey's Group. He really doesn't like them at all. And he created a note recently called Buyers Beware that came out 31st of January, resulted in a 16% drop in Purple Brick share prices, down from 489 to 419 pence in just two days. Pretty bad, right? And now it's just hit another low of 388 pence on the 5th of February, fluctuating around 400 pence. Now here is what the note claimed. Cut away! Purple Bricks does not disclose how many homes it sells. Our research sample found that it had sold 51.6% of the homes listed in November 2016 within 10 months. A similar success rate to the overall market, but below the company's claim of 88%. Made in an interview on the BBC's Money Box program. Our concern is that the group has expanded quickly across three continents before the model has been proven, and therefore that the shares are priced for perfection. Our research is not able to replicate the views on selling success expressed by the company. There's further criticism of Purple Bricks as well from its customers. Adam Weeks used them to list his home in London until last month and criticised their model. I went in with my eyes open. I understand that you pay up front and take more of a risk, but I was surprised by how bad they were. A traditional estate agent has got more inventive to sell, because they make more commission on a sale. The property experts have got no motivation to do a good job. So it doesn't sound very good, does it? But we do have to also consider the bigger picture. Rain, purple rain. Some pundits have explained, however, that Jefferies is a US investment bank and could potentially be protecting its own interests 
because of the expansion of purple bricks into the US market as we covered a few episodes ago. Now let's find out what Lee Wainwright, the company's UK boss, said about it. Jeffrey's numbers are just plainly wrong. We're deeply disappointed and frustrated. Well, of course, they're deeply disappointed and frustrated. Who wouldn't be when one of your competitors is attacking you? And it's worth noting that Jefferies does provide work for their rival firms, Countrywide and LSL. So maybe there is more behind the scenes than we know, and there is more going on. Maybe it isn't as independent research as they claim it may be. Also, none of Purple Bricks rivals are showing any sales data as well. So they could all be in it together. Also, interesting fact, analysis did not take account of home sales subject to contract or time they are recording within the land registry. Now, the estate agent has uh, received 6,160 instructions uh, just last month, which is a 66% increase year on year. And what's really interesting is Purple Bricks market capitalization currently stands at 1.17 billion pounds, which is greater than that of Countrywide, the UK's largest traditional estate agent. Purple bricks. So more and more and more we're seeing these kind of online firms coming to spaces and taking over the traditional bricks and mortar firms and actually ending up with a much larger market capitalization. We only have to look at things such as Netflix, Uber, Amazon to see how much they're really pounding some of these other long-term players. Michael Bruce, the company's founder and chief executive, told the Daily Telegraph last year, There's always going to be criticism leveled at someone or some business which is trying to make a seismic change in an industry that hasn't changed for a long time. So bravo to them, I say, and let's keep watching this with interest to see what else happens in the Purple Bricks meteoric rise to fame. Thank you very much for joining us today. Do check out our previous episodes, do subscribe, more importantly, do comment. So apparently my researchers have told me that some of the figures may not be necessarily accurate because they can't read the internet web pages correctly. So if we have annoyed anyone, please don't take legal action against us because I'm only reporting what they've told me. Play ball!